Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, certainly uh, no one ever wants to get down early and uh, we had some trouble. We were issuing too many walks and so that definitely hurt us. Um, we just had a slow start, which was unfortunate to see, but, um, but I think, you know, I think some of that blame might come back on me uh, just because we were coming off a long stretch where we weren't playing any games. Uh, we had this past weekend off and, you know, going up against a team that's been playing for the last four days and has, you know, a lot more games in than we do, um, I think that that was to our detriment a little bit. Jimmy, you know, started and then went out that game. Mm -hmm. Play me, is that difficult or not? Uh, I think it can be, depending on the pitcher. But our pitchers um, know that they can come in and come out at any given point. So we talk to them about that. And, um, and just having that mindset to be able to go at any moment and go out and execute the best they can. Did it take your girls a little bit to figure out um, yeah, I mean, obviously, it, it took us a little while to get our bats going, but again, I think that is part of just having the off span that we did, um, and then coming back and and throughout the game, our hitting continued to get better, and and I think we are a very competitive team and and a good hitting team, and I think that showed at the end there. I just wish we could adjust it a little earlier. Were you able to see anything from her? Since you, uh, maybe she was tiring by the sixth inning. Yeah, you know, I think she was just tending to throw a lot of, you know, um, side to side movement and just really keying in on those zones and picking our pitch and sticking with it. And um, so I think a little bit of that is also to our credit that we were able to adjust to that and hit that. Talk about what you've got coming up. I think it's 11 games on the road. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a long stretch for anybody. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, right. Well, uh, leading up here, um, over the next week, we are going to get a lot of games in, but I think we're also appreciative of those games since we haven't had as many um, so far in the preseason. And so uh, I really want us to take advantage and primarily use these games to prepare us for the end of our uh, week and a half here for Sacramento State and really get us prepared for our conference season. Okay. Thanks, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, Lawrence is your next stop, mm -hmm. then Nebraska, Omaha. What are some things in Lawrence you guys will work on going in St. Louis, uh, UMKC, which you're very familiar with, and obviously Kansas, the new Rock P Chalk Park. Anything specifically yeah. you guys will work on during that to kind of prepare for the conference? Um, you know, I think we need to revisit just our mental routines and our approaches, um, both on offense and defense and being confident in those. And, um, and I think, you know, getting in there and playing more games and, and just being in that environment in itself is going to help us. Um, you know, obviously we need to focus a little bit more on executing our pitches and, and really sticking to our pitching plan, so we'll discuss that. Um, but mainly I think the biggest point is us just being able to get out there and play, and I think that's the best thing that we can do right now to prepare us for conference. And obviously you'll get on the bus uh, and travel 200 miles north to Nebraska, Omaha. Mm -hmm. uh, 1,300 miles total on the road. Yeah. Uh, I, I made a comment earlier this week, you know, you went to Mexico, but you're going to travel <laughs> just as many miles yeah. uh, in this next time. What, what will Nebraska, Omaha try and throw at you guys uh, just in that one day doubleheader? Uh, you know, Nebraska, Omaha is always a solid team and they continue to be a solid team and I think, again, they're comparable to teams that we'll face in, in conference and so I think they'll be um, a great team for us to go up against right as we start our conference because they're just a good competitive team that I think, you know, will certainly fight and play and, and just exactly what we need going into Sacramento State.